hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl miss natural shay and today i have for you my cash envelope stuffing video this is week three of march 2019 so let's get into it so i went to the bank today and i took out 160 dollars i gave the teller this piece of paper I gave her my check um, written out as cash if you guys have never done this before um, actually a couple weeks ago in my first video I explained how when I went there um, I didn't know what I was doing guys when I got the cash because I'm so used to going to an ATM um, so I went into the bank and um, she just told me to write out a check for cash so I did that and I already had my denominations written out so I need it um, $30 in fives, $40 in twenties, $80 in tens, and $10 in ones. So that gave me a total of $160. And here I have um, a list of my chop, goodness, <laughs> a list of my cash envelopes. And I needed um, uh, money for childcare, groceries, me time, household, and gas. And, um, for my envelope for cat goodness for child care I need fifty dollars for groceries is fifty from me time twenty household is ten dollars and gas is thirty dollars and this is for um the week so here I have my cash envelopes and if you guys um would like some cash envelopes like these um hit up Ryan here on YouTube her uh, channel is called mama's got a budget and hopefully guys you can see right here where it says mama's got a budget um, so I got these from her and um, yeah these are my cash envelopes so please support um, also I have my cash and I have my wallet and this wallet is a Betsy Johnson wallet and it's just a regular wallet um, that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, if I'm able to, because somebody did ask me in my last video, uh, what what kind of wallet was this? And all I could tell them what <laughs> is that it's a Betsy Johnson, because I got it from TJ Maxx, and um, it's not uh, a wallet specific for cash envelopes or anything. But since it's big enough, that's why um, I chose to use this for that. So, um, yeah, let's get into this, guys. So, right here I have my cash. Oh, goodness, here's my license. Good thing that I um checked that because I forgot that I put my license in there. Okay, guys, so here's my cash. I'm going to lay it out here for you. And I always make sure I count my cash before I pull off because you never know. So for me time, um, it's twenty dollars, and I don't have anything left over because I used it all up. Um, so I will be putting twenty dollars in, and I will do how did I do this last time? I don't remember. I'll do um. Two tens this time. So that's for my me time. I'll just put it to the side. And then for my household items, it's um, ten dollars. And last week I actually had uh, fifteen dollars because I had five left over. Um, so I just just decided to do rollover for right now. Um, so I have ten dollars in here now, and that's from last week. Um, cause I only needed a five. Uh, so I will put $10 in for this week. And I am thinking, I did get a suggestion, um, to use for like a sinking fund. Um, say if, and that was a good idea. I could, um, use my rollover cash for, um, for a sinking fund. 
Um, and it would be cool to go ahead and use it for car maintenance. Um, and I could use it for like my next oil change. So anyway, so my household uh, items envelope is stuffed. And for gas is $30. So that I, I do two cents and two fives. So that's 10, 20, 25, and 30. And I actually have eight dollars in no i think it's six two four six seven eight oh i'm sorry guys i have eight dollars in here um i did have 35 dollars from last week um and i had a five dollar left over i do believe yes so i put in thirty dollars um to make that 35 and i filled up my tank um and it gave me 22 dollars and so I had eight dollars left, and then um, I did use the five for something else. So this week I have eight dollars plus my thirty dollars, so that's going to give me thirty-eight dollars. And I go ahead and count this out because I know some of you guys like to watch people count the money: ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. If you guys are hearing anything in my background besides me talking, it is my washer because I decided to wash a load of clothes. Um, <laughs> and it's been making some noise, of course. Um, you know, you can't have, you can't stop that. But anyway, just wanted y'all to know just in case if somebody in the comments say, what's that noise in the background? Um, so next I have groceries and groceries will be $50. So I'm going to take... 10, 20, 30, 40, and this is 50. So that's going to be 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So that would be for my groceries this week. And I have actually have 20 from last week. Um because I didn't use all of my grocery money from last week. So now I have a total of 50 plus 20 will give me 70. So I have, actually I'll go ahead and count this again for you guys. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So I have 70 for this week. And that's cool because there are some things I need to stock up on and that'll help us out. And we'll see if we have any rollover for um, the next week. And my last one is for child care. My child care is $50 per week. So that's 20 40 and 50 So guys, I am going to definitely try my hardest. Actually, once I get done filming this video, I'm going to put in a slip of paper in each of my envelopes because I want to um, go ahead and um, write down uh, what I spent. So, say if it's child care, then I'll put on whatever date, which it'll be today's date. So, 3-15-19, child care. $50. So that'll be $50 minus $50 equals zero. And I'll just stick that in here. Because once I pay my child care today, that'll be all until the next time. Um, but as far as my groceries, my gas, household items, and my me time, I will be... Um, just monitoring it for the whole week and see how much I have left over. And another thought is to put, um, cause I do save my change like quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. Um, so I might have a jar sitting up here. Um, and I'll put my change in my jar and then I even might put my rollover money, dollar bills and everything 
in the jar as well and then that will go to my sinking fund which um i've determined will be uh car maintenance for my next oil change so we have come to the end of the road guys for <laughs> this video and i'm just gonna go ahead and put my envelopes in this right here and as you can see that per it fits perfectly in here see all right well you guys I thank you for tuning in please like share and subscribe give us a big big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video I love you for watching peace